Hi, this is Robert with Second Fiddle Apps, and we're going to be going over Tipum Tip Calculator today. So if you open up the Tipum Tip Calculator, the first thing you're going to want to do is enter in your um, lunch total. So in our case, we're going to do 8221 or 8321. And once you've entered in the total, it's already calculated the tip and then added that into the total to get your total with the tip. So that's what you're going to want to um, pay. If you want to adjust the tip, you simply slide this adjuster down here. If you want to adjust the mode of the total, how it's calculated, you can keep it on exact, which is going to take your exact uh, percentage and calculate the tip and then add it. If you want the modal to the um, total to look uh, mirrored, then you click to the mirror mode, and then it, it mirrors across the decimal. So nine six six nine kind of it repeats itself across the decimal. Um, if you want to round or even up your total to um, have a, an even total, then you can just go into the round mode and then no matter what you adjust your tip percentage to, it's going to automatically default the total to um, an even number and calculate the tip so it's all exact and perfectly calculated. Um, and then we have exclusive mode that is only available with tip and tip calculator or any other tip calculator for that reason, um, for that matter. So if you go into the sum mode, then you're going to notice that this number looks completely random. There's nothing special about it, but in actuality, if you really pay attention to it, you'll notice that the um, number on the right is equal to the sum of the digits on the left. Uh, basically, 9 plus 7 is 16, um, and there you, do, there you see 16 on the right. Um, so this is a new mode, completely new to tip calculators, um, and I think it adds an extra layer of protection as far as the credit card fraud goes. Um, because no one's going to notice that this number is calculated, that it's been figured out. Um, so that when you check your credit card statements, you always know if you follow that mode that you know no one's added in a little bit of extra on top. Because the likelihood of them hitting that value is uh, very unlikely, very very unlikely. Um, so though, yeah, those are the four modes that we have. If you do not like tipping on the tax, you can click this to no, and then you'll no longer be calculating your tip based on the tax amount. It'll take the tax amount out before calculating the tip. Um, you can add more place values by pressing the plus button up to um, just below 10,000. Um, if you could, if you do have a meal anywhere near 10,000, um, I would love to get some uh, pictures of that just to see a $10,000 meal. That'd be really cool. Um, to clear the uh, values out, you press the clear button or the C button. It clears everything out and resets everything. If you want to adjust the tax percentage, um, you can go into the preference pane and adjust that. Um, you'll notice that we're on the left-handed mode right now, and that means that the slider is on the left and this value is on the right. If we go to right-handed, it'll switch that around so that your thumb does not get in the way of seeing this percentage um, when you've calculated something. That can be kind of annoying. And the last thing you'll notice is that the color changes of the tip and the word beside the tip changes. So based on what range you're in, you can uh, visually just see what your tip uh, perceived percentage is uh, without having to pay attention to the number. So, you know, if you're in the gray zone, you're doing, you know, they did all right. If you're in the green zone, you know, you're up pretty high, and they, they did a really good job. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it with Tip and Tip Calculator. If you would like to go and check out um, some of the layouts as far as how we developed the application or some of the uh, coding issues we had along the way, you can go to www secondfiddleapps.com and check out the blog and the apps page where you can check out the timeline as far as the layout went and how we designed it um, from the beginning and then if you go to the support page you can go to uh, find our emails and email us any comments or support questions or whatever questions you have about the application um, or suggestions you can email there um, otherwise that's it alright thanks for watching this has been Robert with Second Fiddle Apps